Hello my friends, today we're going to try something called flip text. So let's get started. All right, so I have got a Facebook post ready and I'm going to call this Go Team Go Flip Text. And um, the first thing you need to decide is whether you're going to put this flip text on a background um, or if you want the background transparent so that you can put it onto a textured background. So for this tutorial today, I am going to select a black background. Um, so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to place a black background. I'm now going to go over to Typecraft and I'm going to type in my text, which is go, oops, I'm going to do all caps, go team, go. And I'm going to add that element. Actually, before I do that, I'm, I'm going to um, pick a color. And I'm just thinking about what color I should do it. And maybe I will choose yellow. So I'm just going to come up here and do a bright yellow. OK. Just going to add that to my um, workspace and I am also going to change the font and I'm going to change the font to Anton this one right here okay I'm just going to update that one more time and now I know it might be a little difficult for you to see down here, but I'm just going to take um, these and I'm going to set them in a little bit, move them inward. And I'm just for the first one, I'm just going to make it um, a little bit longer. Okay, and I'm going to try them to make it like that. Okay, so I'm just going to update that. And now I'm going to make that bigger. Okay, so I'm going to leave that like that. Okay, so now I am going to uh, maybe I'm going to make that a little bit longer. Okay, now I am going to add a shadow and I'm going to search for a black border shadow. Okay, and I'm going to use something like this. So I'm just going to make the page white because maybe that'll make things uh, easier. But um, what I want to do is pick a um, shadow and this is what I want right here. So this is the one that I want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that um, shadow and I have to flip it. So I'm going to flip it that way and I'm going to bring it on up here and I'm just going to put it in here and it's going to create kind of like a shadow. Um, up here. Now, if that's not a good enough shadow for you, a good enough effect, you can al always um, look for um, another shadow that will um, be better. Um, I mean, we can try another shadow like um, this one. Let me just bring that over here and yeah, that might be a little bit better. So let me grab this one instead. So I'm going to take that one off 
and I'm going to bring this one up here and I'm just going to flip it like that and I'm going to bring it down there and then I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, now um, keep in mind that right now because I'm using a black background, um, that shadow is kind of, um, you know, it's it's blending in. Obviously, if I had another color background, I'd use um, a different um, a color shadow, right? Um, so now that I've got that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those two elements and I'm going to make a copy. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And um, maybe I might make this wording a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to update that. And I'm going to make another copy. Actually, sorry. I want to make a copy of both of those elements. And just remember to line them up like that. And I'm going to make one more copy. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this because um, what I want to do is bring back the image in here so that I can flip it, okay? So let me download this. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab that and I'm gonna put it here. And now I'm just going to um, bring it down a little bit and I'm going to come here and I'm going to flip it. Now remember, if you were using another color background or you wanted to make it this transparent, then you would apply the background remover to take the background away and then you could use it on a textured background. Um, if that's a tutorial you'd like to see, let me know. Okay, but now what you're doing is you're just trying to match up the sizing so that you can get a better effect and um, you can just bring that down like that. Okay, now I'm going to grab all of that and I'm just going to move it up so that I can center it. Um, and now we can apply some other types of techniques. For example, we can apply a grunge texture like this. And we can also search for um, the biggest trend right now are football players. So we can search for a photo of a football player and um, we can put this guy in here and we're just going to edit and remove the background and we can put him over here and we can make that bigger. And we can put him in the middle there. And um, what we can do is we can apply an outline to that, um, a shadow. So we can do a glow and we can make it white. We can increase the intensity of that glow and we can increase the size if we'd like and just don't forget to bring that down. Now the other thing you can add is um, maybe some um, a smoke 
effect and um, there we go there there and if we move that behind the grunge effect you'll get that kind of an effect um, with the football player And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, just drop it in the comments. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.